Hi guys! Welcome to Coast Kids Preschool at Home. My name is Gloria and it's so great to see you this morning. I loved seeing so many of you at our Coast Kids drive through on Sunday. Wasn't it great to see each other again? We're looking forward to being back at church soon. But today, Phoebe is going to spend some time reading some special stories. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Coast Kids Preschool at Home. Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today, we are going to be talking about God's love. How cool is that? God has done so many things to show us that He loves us. First of all, He made us. He made me, He made you, He made your mum and dad and your friends. Isn't He clever? And did you know that He made us all different? We have different things like different hair and different eyes and different skin, and we even act differently from each other. God made us all special. There is no one else in the world that is exactly like you. You are special to God and He loves you so, so, so much. God also sent His Son, Jesus, and He loved us so much that He died on the cross for us so that all of the things that we do wrong, our sins, can be forgiven. We all make mistakes and do wrong things sometimes, but God loves us no matter what we do. He loves you because you are His child and you are so, so important to Him. Isn't it nice to know that God loves us? God is there for us whenever we need Him, and we can talk to Him about everything. You can talk to God when you're happy, when you're sad, when you've done something wrong, or when you've done something really, really cool. You can talk to God about anything, and He is always, always listening to you. When we talk to God, it is called praying. Isn't it cool that God wants to talk to us? That's because He loves us. Everything that God does for us, He does because He loves us. I thought that it would be fun if we read some stories together today. So first of all, I've got this story here and it is called Jesus and the Little Children. It's a story from the Bible and it's from when Jesus was alive a long, long time ago. Let's read it together. Jesus had helpers called disciples. Jesus taught his disciples everything he knew about God's love. One day, some families were walking along when they saw Jesus and his disciples resting on a hillside. It's Jesus, the children shouted happily. The boys and girls eagerly ran to Jesus, but the disciples blocked their way. You must leave Jesus alone, one of the disciples said. Yes, he needs to rest, another added. Let the children come to me, Jesus called to his disciples. Please don't turn them away. And with a smile as warm as sunshine, he opened his arms wide and the children went running to him. Jesus turned to his disciples. Do you see these children? If you want to enter God's kingdom, this is how you should come to him. As happy and as trusting as a little child. Isn't that cool? Jesus really, really loved the children. And you know what? Children aren't any less important than adults. Okay, we're going to move on to our second story. It's another story from the Bible, and we've heard it a few times, but I thought it could be good to, to read it again. It is a story of creation. And in creation, God made lots of different things. And you know that he made, you know, the water and the sky and the animals, but he also made us. And that's the bit that we're going to read about today. All right, let's start. The beginning of the world. In the beginning, God created the sky and the earth. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. God named the light day and the darkness night. This was the first day. God made the air to divide the water into two. Some of the water was above the air and some of the water was below it. God named the air sky. This was the second day. Then God said, let the water under the sky be gathered together so the dry land will appear. God named the dry land earth. He named the water that was gathered together seas. God saw that what he made was very, very good. 
Then God said, let the earth produce plants. Every seed will produce more of its own kind of plant. This was on the third day. Then God said, let there be lights in the sky to separate the day from the night. So God made the two large lights. He made the brighter light to rule the day and he made the smaller light to rule the night. He also made the stars. This was the fourth day. Then God said, let the water be filled with living things and let birds fly in the air above the earth. So God created the large sea animals. He created every living thing that moves in the sea. God also made every bird that flies and he saw that what he made was very, very good. God blessed them and said, have many young ones and grow in number. Fill the water of the seas and let the birds grow in number on the earth. This was on the fifth day. Can you see what God made here? Look at all the birds and look at these fish jumping, these fish down here. Oh, look at these little baby ducklings, aren't they cute? Let's see what happened next. Then God said, let the earth be filled with animals and let each produce more of its own kind. Let there be tame animals and small crawling animals and wild animals. And let each produce more of its own kind. And that happened. God saw that this was very good. God created human beings in his image. That's me and you. He created the male and female. God blessed them and said, have many children and grow in number. Fill the earth and be its master. Rule over the fish in the sea and over the birds in the sky. Rule over every living thing that moves on the earth. God looked at everything he had made and it was very good. This was on the sixth day. So the sky, the earth and all that filled them were finished. So on the seventh day he rested from all his work. Cool. Isn't that cool to read about those things that actually happened? Like God creating us and God loving us. It's so cool, eh? All right, I think it's time for us to do some worship. guys, thanks for joining us for Coast Kids Preschool at Home. I hope that you guys loved learning all about God's love for you. I had so much fun learning and listening to the story and I hope you guys did too. 
Hey, don't forget that God made you and he loves you and Jesus wants to be your friend. I hope you guys have a super, super fantastic day. Bye friends. Woo!